Okay, so once you got your lightning effects done and your headphone auto shut off disabled, uh, the next step we're going to move on to will be linking the actual OBS or other streaming application that you'll be using and programming the macros keys. Okay, now moving on, once you got that um, theme saved um, to your Twitch OBS settings, we're going to now set up the macros keys to have their particular functions within that program. Um, and in order to do that, what you're going to want to do is bring up uh, your OBS or um, equivalent application that you use in the stream or whatever you want to set your hotkeys to. Um, for this example, we're going to use OBS. Now, before you connect any of the macros keys, the first thing you're going to have to do is link the program. All right, so once you've created the theme, disabled the headphone auto shut off, you're going to want to go into. Um, your edit profile for your Twitch OBS. You're going to want to click link profile to program. Now, if you're using OBS, by default, the 32-bit version is the version that loads. If you're on a 64-bit system, it is best to use the 64-bit application. So to get to the 64-bit application of OBS, you're going to go in program files, scroll down to uh, the OBS folder which select bin then 64 bit and created a shortcut maybe to your taskbar or something and then you can double click this to select the OBS 64 bit exe and now those two programs are linked so this application now we'll always switch to this particular profile these particular macros keys will function within OBS with this profile. You can also set uh, a custom background to represent each unique profile. Uh, I'm just going to do this one for example. You can increase your transparency to make that scene see through. Okay, so this gives you a, a little bit more custom, a little more custom look than what's provided in the beginning. Uh, when you switch back to the default, the profile do change. So you can have multiple backgrounds for each profile if you want it. All right, but each profile do have a different function. And another thing you can do that's cool while, while you add it is when you select um, your particular um, profile, you can set it to the keys up here, the M1, M2, and M3 by clicking that profile and pushing it to one, two, or three, and that each one represents those memory slots. So I can set this one to one, and I set Twitch OBS to two. Okay, so whatever one is highlighted is the one that you set. But if I close it, Okay, so now in the next step, we're going to want to program our macros keys to the OBS or whatever other streaming program you may be using. Um, I believe this method should work with um, games and other stuff that you want to use it for as well. Um, you're going to want to open your actions, and you're going to want to keep the Crosshair app open and kind of maybe move it to the side like this. Then you're going to want to open your OBS app um, for the particular purpose of this tutorial I won't do stop and start streaming because I don't want to end the video from recording so instead I'm going to use the studio mode button which has this effect we're going we're gonna to set that to one of our macros keys um, from G1 to G18 we're going to click settings you're going to go to hotkeys you're going to pick studio mode or whatever function you want to program uh, to the G keys and first you're going to need to put in whatever command I recommend using a command that's something random that you would never touch on a keyboard. All right, so you're gonna want to do something like Control I in this case. Click Apply, then click OK. So now Control I 
would be for studio mode, meaning if I push control I, studio mode, control I. So two keys right now. But the goal is to just program it for G16. In order to do that, you're going to want to go back to the Corsair app, click, pick your Twitch OBS app that you linked uh, with that particular program. You're going to want to click um, Mem once, G16 once, Mem again. And now that put the G16 icon on the top, you then gonna want to click on that new entered macros. You will see a record button. It's important that you be quick. You gonna want to click your record button, your control I function, stop recording. If it don't, if it doesn't come out perfect, it's too many steps in this. Okay, so if it don't come out perfect, just delete it and then do it again. That's pretty good. All right, then you can save that function. And now, when you own this particular profile, when you in OBS G16. Okay, and that is how you program your macros key. It's really important that you get the time and it is right. If not, it'll be a delay in switching scenes in OBS. All right. Now we're gonna do one more key so you can see it again, just in case. As the final demonstration, <laughs> as the for the final demonstration of programming the macros key, uh, since we can't bring uh, the display capture back, we gonna go in and we gonna make it so. That we can set one more macros key being G18 to make it go away and to make it come back. Alright. So, now this time, I'm going to try to do no hiccups. What you want to do is click your setting. You want to go to your hotkeys. Um, show display capture. We're going to make control. Oh. Click apply. Then you're gonna want to push your mem G18 mem again. Click OK. Go over to your Corsair application. Click your G18 macros. And now you're gonna want to make sure when you click these that you double click twice. Stop it and then start it again. Then we're going to enter control O. Oh. Stop record. Save. And now we got our macros. All right. Want to make it go away? Want to make it come back? I hope that this video helps you out. If so, you know, drop a subscribe. There's more stuff coming.